Hi musicians. So today we're going to talk about the clef. And the clef is the first thing that you see uh, from left to right in the music on every uh, staff or every staff system. In fact, these five lines are called a staff and that's where we place our notes. Um, and the clef's main purpose is to tell you what the note names are and where they are on the line. And for each clef, it's a different order. Uh, although the, the note names are always A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and they always stay in that same order, where they are on the staff system is different depending on the clef. The first clef that we talk about is the treble clef, or another name for it is the G clef, okay? Uh, the treble clef or G clef. Now, the reason it's called the G clef is that if you look uh, what the letter G looks like, and then this used to be an old stylized English, uh, you know, cursive way of, of writing. In fact, when I was a kid, this is how we made our G's. Remember, my mom's name starts with a letter G, and she would write her name with that. Um, and you can see how it kind of looks a little bit like this. It's more stylized, a little prettier. Um, but it also, the second reason is that it circles right here. It circles the G, okay? So this right here is the, is the note G. Uh, and that way, you know, this, wherever that is, as you know, that's going to be the letter G. The second clef, which is the second most popular, uh, is called the bass clef, okay? And the bass clef... Uh, or the F clef. Now, uh, here's the letter F. Now, if you remember, you know, an old Fender guitar or something like this, this is the symbol you'd see on a Fender, right? Uh, and then really, really old, old music. You know, we're talking, you know, almost a thousand years ago, 800 years ago. They, well, they put on the staffs, what limited staff systems they'd have, they put these three dots here, and this would, there would be a line right here, and this would tell you that this was an F. Um, but here you can see that, you know, this, this, line or this clef with these two dots are the letter F, you know, it looks like a letter F. And where these two dots are, that note is an F, okay? The third clef, which is the third most common, um, is what we call the C clef, okay? And the C clef uh, is actually, if you look at this grand staff, you have 11 lines, and you look at the grand staff, and you have this one line in between the treble and the bass clef, and this is called middle C. And this clef right here, and we down here, the C clef, which there are two of them. There's the alto, and then there's a the tenor. These are the most common. There are others because this is a movable clef. In fact, they're all movable, but this is the most movable. Uh, wherever this is, is middle C. Wherever these lines come together, that's middle C. Now, you notice that my G here, uh, there was an old uh, clef that was called the French violin clef, and they moved it down one, and so that became the G, okay? And then also, the French did another I don't know why the French were always doing this, but they were always changing some things. I think to make it easier for printing and things like that. But they would move the bass clef down one, and then this became the F, and this was called the baritone, B-A-R-Y-T-O-N clef. It was actually played by baritones, um, but it was called the baritone clef, or baritone clef. Um, anyway, these are the most common ones. There is another clef, um, which is actually not a clef, uh, but it's what they call a neutral clef, and this is what percussionists use, and there's two lines, and there's no pitch, it's actually just a rhythmic clef, and, and percussionists use that as rhythm only. In fact, a lot of percussion music won't even have this, although percussionists will play all these. Now, treble clef instruments are flutes, oboes, saxophones, uh, trumpets, horn, violin, uh, bass clarinets, you know, things like that. Uh, bass clef tends to be trombones, tuba, cellos, um, basses, um, bass clef euphonium, although the treble clef can also, there's also a treble clef euphonium part. Uh, the alto clef uh, tends to be uh, violas and uh, orchestral trombone parts. Uh, the tenor clef you will see in the trombone part again, and usually orchestral trombone playing. Uh, bassoons can play in the treble clef, or the, uh, the tenor clef, and so uh, can cellos, they can play there. Uh, so that's kind of the, the, the basic thing. So these are the four or five different basic clefs that you see. So uh, anyway, and then from there, we'll actually learn our note names. So uh, anyway, keep making music.